You ever look back at a short period in your life, maybe just a few months, and realize that wow, I grew up more in that time than I did in the past few years combined. Yes, that happens, and it's wild. People talk a lot about steady long-term experience, but the truth is, growth doesn't always happen on a fixed timeline. Sometimes, life throws you into situations where you're learning at lightning speed, not because you wanted to, but because you had to. The growth isn't always slow and steady. We like to think of career growth as something gradual. You show up, do the work, level up. And yeah, that happens, but sometimes it's more like getting thrown into the deep end and being told good luck. And weirdly enough, that's where a lot of growth happens. These intense periods where you're under pressure, doing things you have never done before, figuring stuff out on the fly, can pack years worth of lessons into a few chaotic months. Now, I have worked in a lot of startup-based environments. This sounds exciting, but for me, it meant suddenly juggling way more than I was used to. Just technical problems, people issues, deadlines, communication between teams, you name it. It was stressful, messy, and honestly overwhelming at times. But looking back, that experience taught me more than any book, course, or regular work routine ever could. I came out of it with a clearer head, sharper skills, and way more confidence. Now, would I want to go through that every year? Definitely not. But I'm glad I went through it once. Now, here's something I started noticing. Not all work feels the same. Depending on what you're doing and how hard it pushes you, you're probably in one of these zones. Number one is the comfort zone, where everything's familiar, there's no stress or no surprises, it's safe, but you're not really learning anything new. Then there's the learning zone, where you're being challenged, but in a good way. This is where solid, sustainable growth happens. Then there is the growth zone. This is the intense zone, where you're stretched thin, solving big problems and learning really super fast. This feels like leveling up every day, but it's not at all easy. And last is the burnout zone. This happens when you stay in the growth zone too long without a break, and it gets dangerous. Your exhaustion creeps in, and nothing feels worth it. The trick is knowing when to shift between them. So you don't have to be in growth mode all the time. In fact, trying to stay there forever is actually a great way to burn out. It's totally fine to slow down after a heavy stretch, to catch your breath, recharge, and just do your job without trying to conquer the world. What matters is that when those rare high growth moments show up, when something big and messy and hard lands on your plate, you recognize it for what it is. A chance to grow way faster than usual. And if you've got the energy and support, then take it. Give it your best, because those moments might be rare, but they can change everything. Now, not all experience is created equal. One year of real challenge and deep learning can teach you more than five years of doing the same thing over and over. So yeah, don't stress if you're not always leveling up. But when life gives you a window to grow fast, jump in. Just don't forget to rest on the other side.